Okay, the Verse tab. There's actually two of them available. Uh, VS1, and there's also a VS2, which I do not have displayed here. Remember your, your options? Mm -hmm. You can Analysis tab options. And there's another one available, uh, VS2. Okay. But I have here the Verse tab 1. And this here is also set up according to verses. So as I change verses, that's going to change content. Now what this has, it has the drop down, drop down box. I have such things as I have the Net Bible displaying here with the Net Bible notes. Uh, if you the extra cost module for the ESV Study Bible also functions in here, quite quite nice in this. It keeps up with the uh, versification up and down a bit here. So your your notes then it will appear there. Um, you have the Tischendorf's uh, apparatus, which of course I have to go to a New Testament. Uh, in fact, uh, I have to go to a New Testament version as well. And now you can see Tischendorf's uh, textual apparatus in here. And that will also change according to verse. You have Metzger's textual commentary. Uh, that's uh, it's an extra cross module now, unfortunately. Uh, but that will also change for the different notes. And uh, CMTTS apparatus, uh, huge, huge textual apparatus, lots of content here. Uh, this here is going to have the Nestle line text at the top. And below that is going to be significant uh, textual variants. Um, so this is a massive work, um, huge amount of content here. This uh, will show you what your variant readings are, and then get an example here. Um, for example, this, this variant here in 1 Corinthians 1.8, you have all these different manuscripts here that support this reading, Ethos. I, I have here the, uh, the double brackets here. If I click on that, it takes all of those manuscripts, sets them up according to century and according to the aligned categories of textual variants. So that's already there in a table format for you. Now, I had to do that in seminary manually. Uh, but uh, here it's all done for you. So. <laughs> and those those digits are what Strong's word or uh, or uh, which digits are you talking I, about? I, you have the columns like textual it, variant. Oh no, these these are manuscript numbers. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. yeah, those are manuscript. Numbers. And those are hyperlinked. Uh, okay. These are, that's linked to the information about the manuscript. Okay. Wow. And also the very top here, are these these are. Uh, uh, current Alon categories, those are also linked to descriptions of what's contained in those categories. So, okay. And in this reference you're talking about here is? Center for New Testament Texts and Studies. Uh, New Orleans Baptist Seminary uh, developed this. If this was in print, it would be six volumes, probably about that big or so. There's just a massive amount of work. Um, a lot of content. So it probably has everything that's in the Nestle Allen and then some. Oh, yes. Significant a lot more than Nestle Allen. Significant. Okay. Oh. Hmm. And this was an added cost. Yeah. Uh, so actually, no, that's in the base package. Tissue okay. drawers. This is the Nestle. This is the uh, Nestle Alon apparatus. This, the Nestle Alon extra cost, but uh, here's First Corinthians one a. What I see right here on the screen is, is all that's there. Yeah. Okay, but the CMTTS. Oops. This whole thing is First yeah. Corinthians one a. So there's a lot more information in there. So, yeah, the NA28 apparatus is more selective than what they're what they're including. See a lot of a lot of information. So that's in that's in the verse tab. Um, the BHS apparatus, the BHQ apparatus, those are extra cost, uh, but I'll, I'll show them to you. Those are uh, in the, the modules here. Uh, but here's the. Uh, this is the Genesis 1.1, Genesis 1.6. These are the BHS apparatuses. Okay. That, that's available. Now the BHS text, of course, is available in Bible works there. Um, that's essentially the Codex. Codex. The Holgate apparatus is also part of that, uh, that package with the BHS apparatus. But, And so that's essentially the verse tab. Um, sometimes you have a, a the net Bible here. You can also, there's a menu, so you want to select different things and look at it. 
There's also expand, which opens up as a pop-up, so you can get the information in a, a larger, larger context and scroll down and see different things, principal translation, et cetera, et cetera. So, and you'll have that in, in certain, um, certain of these first tab items. For example, the ESV Study Bible. You'll have the expand also. Just lost it here. Here we go. So this is the expanded of the ESV Study Bible. 